Hello, everybody. Let's see. Let's see if I am. Uh, I have the microphone set on <laughs> loud enough so that you guys can hear me without dying. Okay. So welcome, welcome everybody to uh, back to the stream, and um, hope everybody's doing good. I thought today we would talk a little bit about well, something. Well, I guess what takes up most of my time here in SL, to be completely honest. Um. So uh, just. Uh, just a little bit about me first. Uh, I, I perform. I do music here in Second Life. Uh, I sing. And um, I've been in SL for 12 years, something like that. However, I have not been doing music this entire time. When I started Second Life back in uh, back in 08, I think it was, I, uh, I, I was kind of curious about the music scene, but there was so much other stuff sort of going on in my SL. And I basically tried, well, pretty much, I'd say everything, but there's no, there's never covering everything. But I always wanted to do live music because I'm a singer in real life. But I was really, really terrified to do it because of, uh, <laughs> you know, the technical aspect of everything. So I just, I just, I just kind of never, never touched it. That's why I wanted to do this video today because I really wanted to, uh, to sort of put the content out there that I think I personally was looking for about a year ago when I decided that, you know, screw this, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to go for it and try it. So I figured we would talk through a little bit of what you need to do to, uh, to set up what you're going to need to do RL and what you're going to need to do SL to be able to, uh, to stream live music if that's what you want to do in second life. And I think a lot of us are really, uh, are really drawn to the, the second life music music scene now because concerts and things like that because of everything going on in the world are kind of everything's put on hold but in sl you can still go out and you can still be social you can still go listen to music and stuff like that and for a lot of us musicians out there live gigs might be uh live gigs i would say in rl are, are kind of put on hold so second life becomes a place that uh where we can still do that and we can still express it so anyway i thought we would start with a little bit of uh of the tech stuff. So what you are going to need <laughs> first and foremost is, is, is wanting to do it. Obviously there's, there's that whole, you know, getting over the, the fear of putting yourself out there. But I think one thing that's important to remember is that people are kinder to us a lot of times, most of the times than we are to ourselves. And it doesn't have to be super, super scary. I would say, you know, for me, when I first, when I first got everything set up the way that I wanted it, I, um, tested streaming out a little bit on my friends, you know, putting my stream into their land and stuff like that. And, uh, and did that before, before I, uh, booked gigs and things like that in SL. So what are you going to need to, uh, to stream? in SL. There's lots of different options. And that's kind of what I'm saying with, um, with, uh, with everything right, uh, right now is that this is how I do it. This is not how everybody does it. This is not what you have to do. There's, uh, there's lots of different softwares. There's lots of different, uh, microphones that you can use. There's, there's, there's different setups. Every, everybody has their own thing. What I'm going to be sharing with you guys now is how I do it doesn't have to be how you do it. If you find other ways, go for it. Anyway, so um, the main thing that you're going to need is, uh, or I'd say the, the first thing that you're going to need is, uh, is a microphone and a mixer. Those are, uh, those, those are, are the, the bare essentials. Um, so um, what I have, I thought I'd, I'd show you guys what I use. Um, and uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So the first, um, first thing, this is a little bit, um, and this is a little bit weird, maybe well, not, not weird, but, uh, <laughs> the, first, the first thing that, that I have is, uh, I, my microphone. I was going to share that with you guys. Um, my microphone's on the higher end and it doesn't have to be the only reason that it is, is that I do this in real life and I, uh, I, I work as a voiceover artist. So being that I have a home studio and things like that, um, I use the, my, my microphone that I have for work and I'm lazy. So I, you know, I don't want to have to, uh, you know, dismantle everything and set it and set it up differently. So the microphone that I use is, uh, let's see if I can find the right, uh, one. Okay. So I have, I have the Erland, uh, EH, uh, EHRM 
which is a bit pricey, uh, but uh, not at all necessary. <laughs> That sounds that sounds harsh. It's it's an amazing it's an amazing microphone and I, and I love I love it. But you need to have something this expensive. It's completely uh, completely. I was gonna say stupid, but it, it's because if this is because this is what I have and this is what I use for work. So, um, I love this microphone. I think it's really really great. But you can absolutely find different options for microphones that are ridiculously cheap like you do not as long as uh just check out youtube check out reviews and things like that and see you know see what you want there's uh there's great there's great stuff out there let's see what we, what we can find uh microphone for streaming let's see do 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 i mean i would just you know do that and check out i mean like there's a gazillion different reviews on on, on, you know, cheap things, things under a hundred dollars, things somewhere around there, you know, there's a bunch of different stuff. So you need a microphone, obviously you do not need a really, really expensive one. Another thing that I use, uh, which I think is, is good to have because you want to make sure that when you, um, when you, um, when you, when you do your music, that you, uh, you don't have too much, I was going to say too much sound in of the room going on. So what I like to use is the, um, let's see, let's go back to the, to the browser. I, I really like using this. I have a, uh, vo uh, a sound box as well, but in, when it comes to recording, recording, that's one thing. But when, when you're doing, uh, when you're doing live music, a lot of times you want to be able to look down at the screen. You want to be able to see what's going on. And in that sense, I like using the T-Bone mic, uh, mic screen because I get that a little bit of that sound isolation uh, to sort of get the sound of the room out. Um, but I still have a view, you know, it's like I can still peek <laughs> and see the computer by, behind it. So uh, so I use, like to use that. Also, just was like what I said before, not everybody does. Like, you, this is totally unnecessary if you don't want to have it and if you don't have a professional setup and all that stuff. Something that I, uh, I do change up though, when I am streaming, as opposed to when I'm, when I'm working, uh, in real life is, uh, is my mixer. So the mixer that I, that I got when I decided that I wanted to do streaming in SL is the uh, Yamaha AG03, which I think is, is really awesome. I was looking through, um, I was looking at different YouTube things, you know, about streaming and all that stuff. And what I, what I came to really like about about this particular mixer is that it has, if you see it here, see my, my finger, my finger, <laughs> see my little pointer here. It has the loopback function, which is really, really nice because it enables me to, uh, to hear the music in my headphones and, and to hear what's going on. Um, so that is a fairly inexpensive mixer that works very, very well for, for this sort of thing. Uh, some people don't have headphones when they sing in SL. And I mean, that's completely up to you. Personally, I, that that's how I do it. I mean, I'm, I'm used to when I'm in the studio, when I'm recording or anything like that, I, I like having headphones on because it just uh, makes life easier. <laughs> it's nice to know. And that way I can hear as well if I'm, if I'm peaking or if the sound is coming in hot and, and all those things. So um, you need a microphone, whatever, uh, whatever you decide to get for your setup. Um, I'm, 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 I'm telling you, do not, don't buy what I have because it's expensive. That sounds really harsh. I'm, 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 it's, it's a great microphone, but you don't need it. Uh, but you need a microphone and you're going to need a mixer. Those are the two essential things that you are going to need to stream music in SL in regards to your setup at home. Uh, you're also going to need a source of music. I mean, there's, there's, there's two different, there's two different ways of doing it. Um, some people do tracks. And some people do uh, do acoustic music. I think one of the main reasons that I was so freaked out and, and didn't do this for so long. I mean, for the first thing, I was really terrified about the technical aspect of how the, how do you stream? Like, how, how, how does that whole thing work? You know, that that terrified me. Um, but then there was also the uh, the fact that I'm I'm a vocalist. I'm a singer. That's my primary instrument has always been my voice. Um, I play guitar, I play piano, I play ukulele, I play bass, I, I, I play instruments, but it is not my main instrument. And I was kind of thinking, okay, if I, if I do live music in second life, I'm going to have to, uh, be, you know, amazeballs at guitar and, and stuff like that. And, and, um, 
of course that helps and, and a lot of a lot of SL musicians are are amazing uh, both at singing and playing their instrument but uh, you know there's this whole sort of thing that's been going on I was talking to some people before about like oh karaoke singers and I'm like you know that's kind of bullshit I'm sorry but it is because if you have if you go to a concert like you know you're not you're not gonna everybody's not gonna play every instrument you know the lead singer might not be the guitarist and that's fine nobody expects him to be the entire band so doing tracks in sl i personally i mix it up i um lately i've been doing a lot of tracks and uh and sometimes i do acoustic sometimes I, I, I mix. So um, that is really up to you and what your personal music style is and what you want to be singing, what you want to be doing. Um, and both of them are very, both of them are very, very valid um, ways of, of doing your music because that's what it comes down to. What it comes down to is, is what is it you want to express artistically? What kind of music is it? What, what do you like singing? Because that is, that is what this is. You know, this is a chance to get out your personal. Oh, look, my SL is, is, uh, everything looks really strange. Why is there a big black thing on the side there? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm so distracted. I was just, um, wait, let me move it there. Kind of, sort of stretch it a little bit. There we go. Ah, that was bugging me. That was bugging me. I can't help that. Okay, so um, so decide what type of music you want to do. I decided what type of music I wanted to do. I want to do everything. <laughs> so that's kind of that's kind of how my sets end up being. I uh, I have so many different genres because I you know you know that's just whatever the heck I'm in the mood for that day. You know, I just uh, that, that that's how it is. So um, let's see, let's see. Um, there are different ways. With, I was where my where's my brain? There's different ways of getting. If you want to be doing tracks and stuff like that, obviously you have to get them from somewhere. Um, personally, I use Spotify a lot. A lot of some people use YouTube. Some people, I'm sure, use iTunes or whatever. Or some and some people make their own tracks. You know, there's there's a tons of tons of ways of doing it. Um, just do whatever feels easiest for you. You know. Um, so you got your mic, you got your mixer, you've got your uh, you got your tracks or you've got your guitar or whatever instrument it is you want to use, uh, headphones, good headphones, good to have, uh, in a pinch, uh, you know, I've used, you know, when, when my headset broke a while back, I used like in ear ones and it was horrible because I, you know, you kind of want that sound isolation, but that's, maybe that's just me. Um, so what you are going to need is, uh, is software for your computer. I was really, really lucky when I when I first uh, wanted to get into SL. I had a friend who uh, who knew somebody that was already in, and and uh, and she gave me the advice to use Butt. Yeah, it is called Butt. Somebody had a blast when they when they uh, <laughs> when they came up with that. So we're gonna just take a look at the the software that I that I personally recommend because it is it isn't easy. It isn't it isn't hard. Is what I was gonna say. It's not it's not that tricky. Um, so the place that you guys want to go to get, but B U T T, which is short for broadcast using this tool or, but is, uh, let's see what we got is here. So go to uh, sourceforge.net, uh, or just search, but, uh, but software or something like that. And, and this should be where you guys come down to. So it'll, uh, has a downloads for both for windows, for Mac and for Linux as well. So, uh, there is that and it's free and uh and super super easy to use what i like about but and uh right now i don't have the um i don't have the software i would i would pull it up for you but uh but uh -huh, see see what i did there <laughs> I, I would pull it up for you guys but uh but i have it on the other computer because uh i use two computers when i stream i have uh my laptop which is the one that I'm streaming from now. And, uh, the one that I am on in that Sally is on in world. Uh, and then I, I actually stream and I have my mixer and mic set up to my, uh, to my stationary computer. So I don't, I can't show you the interface, but, but is extreme. Like it's so user-friendly. I am a, I'm so technically horrible when it comes to stuff most of the time. Um, 
but even I could do it. So even you can do it. Like it's, it's not, it's not that hard. Um, but is really, really, it's like, it's like this tiny little square and just you, all you really need to do is you fill in your, you know, you put the stream that you'll get. I'll sh I'm going to show you guys where, where you can get a good stream. Um, you put the stream and the password and the, and that stuff into, but, um, and then the good, the thing that I really enjoy, enjoy the thing that I really like, and that I think is very helpful is that it has the, uh, you know, the green, yellow, red bars. So it'll show you if you're peaking and then you can adjust that on your mixer as you go and make sure that your sound levels are okay. And it's not complicated at all. It's super, super easy and very user-friendly. So, but is my go-to when it comes to uh, software streaming. Um, so I figured what we need to do next is, is we need to go look at streams guys, which means I need to get my butt out of this chair. Let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. So the place that I am, um, the place that I like to go or the place that I've had my stream with this entire time is, uh, let's see, it's called, <laughs> well, I, I, let's see, I renamed the landmark, but let's see, is stream? No, wait, 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 stream. Hello, can I type? Not really. Stream. There we go. Uh, so I get mine at PowerStream. There's lots of places that you can go uh, in SL. Um, I went to a different place first. Uh, yeah, I went to Dead Man Streams before, but uh, because I was recommended to it, and they have really, really cheap streams. Um, but it stopped working for some reason. I don't know what the problem was. It might have just been me. It's possible. Um, but uh, blip, 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 blip. Let's see. Where am I? Mine is up here. Um, so let's see how much this one is. I can pay. Okay, so this one is just, it's 150 uh, a week or something like that. Let's throw two more weeks in just for the heck of it. Um, it's 150 per week and you can join the stream here then, but I just I don't. Um, so go to power streams and, uh, you can see the different, um, how many listeners you can have and all that funky jazz. So the one that I have, I, it's, it's, uh, it innate, it's works for a hundred listeners. You can also, if you think that you're going to be doing smaller stuff, you know, there's, Oh, look, there's 150 listeners, 200 listeners. And then there's smaller ones for like 50 and stuff like that, I think. So it's, you know, it's not, yeah, 25 listeners. Like you don't, you don't have to, there's so many different options, but what's going to happen then is you are going to get a, uh, a note card when you've gotten your stream. And in that note card, there will be a, uh, a web address, which is the link that the uh, landowner will put in the abouts tab in the sound. And that is going to uh, to enable people to listen to what you are streaming because you will also take the information in that note card and put it into butt. So you'll take the note card, the stuff from the note card, the password and the port key that they have in there. And that information goes into butt. It's not super, super uh, tricky. Feel free to IM me if you if you need help with, with setting things up and stuff like that. Um, and we can, you know, we can, maybe we can talk through that in a different video or something. I don't know, but, um, it's not super hard. I promise. So those are the things that you're going to need real life to sort of, uh, to get things going and to be able to do the music. This is not saying that there's not other stuff that you're going to have to do. Obviously you're going to have to practice your songs. You're going to have to decide what songs you have. You're going to most live sets in SL when it comes to music have, um, it's, it's, a, you do a one hour set as a live singer. A lot of D I mean, DJs generally a set is two hours when it comes to live music, live singers, we do one hour. Um, so you're going to need music, you know, to fill up that time, obviously, <laughs> unless you want to yodel and I'm not judging. You can yodel. It's all good. There's a, there's a niche for everything. Um, but so you need your music and you need your tech that you need to go. Um, when it comes to, I think we're going to, let's, let's hop back over to, uh, let's hop up over to the F1 pub. Um, I'm not going to go. So right now we're heading over to, uh, to my venue, to our venue that we have. Um, 
that but the, the reason we're going here is because I'm gonna hop up here on top on the roof on the roof let's see so there are a few things that you're gonna need um, uh oh am I crashing I hope not there are a few things that you are going to need in world as well so as I try and attempt not to crash what is my computer doing hello I think I might be crashing I'm so sorry guys if I do I will be back super super soon come on clickety click don't crash it's been it's been one of those days though like it, it seriously has it's been it's been insane um I had a set this morning at a uh, color of whispers and I could not log in with firestorm at all like first it wouldn't let me log in and then it wouldn't let me stay on every time I tried to teleport I kept crashing I don't know it's Tuesday so they're doing the rolling restarts maybe that has some kind of effect on the grid I'm not sure and now I uh I'm going to have to close Black Dragon, take you guys back to, uh, 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 I'm logging back in, see how it goes. Um, but I'm still here. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that you guys can still hear me. Let's see. Uh, let's go to the last location. Come on, come on. Logging in. Mm-mm-mm. Why don't we have any music? I don't know. Ugh. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so just to sort of cover what we what we've talked about so far, we said that you need to well, I guess mentally prepare yourself <laughs> that you want to be doing this and that it's not scary. Uh, and then you need a mic, you need a mixer, potentially headset or uh, you know headphones. Uh, and you need music. Those are those are the uh, the essential things that you uh, cannot do without. Uh, whether you're providing the music yourself or if you're doing tracks. Let's see. I am logging. I am logging in. It has just taken a while. Bum bum bum. Here we go. We are back. And look, I got a brain. Gotta love that. <laughs> okay. So um, when it comes to when it comes to stuff that you're going to need. Whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry, it looks so looks so funny. What you're going to need when you uh when you have a set. So you've booked your you're booked somewhere and you want to uh and you want to sing and people want to hear you, you are going to be most likely starting out with tips only. Um there's lots of really, really good places in SL. And, you know, I suggest checking, checking, checking places out um, and going from, from, you know, to different venues and just seeing what is a live set in, in SL. What, what is it? You know, how does it work? Um, if you're starting out, and especially with tips only, what you're going to need is, is a board and a group. So people, you want people to be able to follow you. So what you're going to do is you're going to start a group in SL. Um, and I think the initial cost for starting a group is like a hundred Lindens or something like that. Um, I'm just going to go in my environment settings because, because I want to, let's see. No, wait, not there. Here. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. There we go. So what you're going to want to do is uh, start a group name the group and remember you can this is you know i'm all in all honesty i kind of um i think i have mine is selly's fan club or something like that and it's just like i i kind of wanted to change the name of it but that's you know that's the thing with groups in sl think it through because uh you can't change the name of a group unfortunately you can change the role names and all that stuff but uh yeah so uh you start a group and that is uh that is very very good to have because that's how you can tell your the people that start to follow you and maybe want to come to your sets, you know, I'm playing here, I'm playing there, you know, you send out a notice saying, this is where I'm going to be and the landmark to that place so that they can come. Um, what you're also going to need is a board. Um, and there are lots of different ways. There are performers boards on marketplace that are very, very good. Um, and they're not necessarily super, super expensive either. Uh, let's see what we can 
why don't we pull up why don't we pull up marketplace and just sort of take a look at that dun, dun, dun. let's see okay so we got marketplace here um artist tip board Here we go. So there's there's a bunch of different ones. I think this is the one that I started with, the Kick and Black Artist Tip Board. And it has a bunch of different buttons on it, if you take a look. It's like, so people can get, get a pay option. And they can get your song list. So whatever, one that's another thing. We're talking about how you want a bunch of songs that you can do. Uh, put those songs into a note card. I'll, I'll pull mine up in just a sec. Uh, and then you add the note card to here, to that button. And then you, you, you know, the... The board's going to give you instructions for how you set it up and all that stuff. But uh, you have the thing so that they can join your group. I think I took that button away, the Catch My Shows one. Uh, I didn't even think I have the bio button there either. And then, you know, like subscribers and stuff like that. So there's different ways of doing that. I've lately, I just, I, I've, uh, I think I started with that one. And then I've just been modifying, I started modifying that. And then I've built my own as well because I think it's fun. This is not something that you have to do. Uh, let's see. I'll just show you some of mine. Boho. So I have that one is one that I've done. If it'll res. There we go. So da -da -da, that's one. Ch -ch 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 -ch. You know, it's 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 tricky too because it's like I mean, different places have different styles, and uh, and uh, you might that's that's why I have more than one. You don't really necessarily need more than one, um, but I have it because I think it's fun. So um, this is one that I made, and you know, you have the tips there, and then you have the join group, and then you have the song list. Here I have a bunch of little presents that I've just put in there, which is like you know t-shirts with my logo and stuff like that and then I have the subscriber there as well and uh, this one has basically it's the same elements it's the group joiner the tips and uh, the subscriber because a lot of times even if you have a group joiner people might not have group space uh, so getting a subscriber matic is really good uh, and that's something that you can find on the marketplace subscribe matic uh, and then there's a the song so let's take a look at my song list do, 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 which is something that you, you know, you sort of have to, uh, oh, scheisse. I'm not even showing you guys what I'm doing there. <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here's my song list. Um, and I've sort of got things, you know, sorted through uh, with different genres, you know, different, uh, different things that I do. Um, so there's, there's a bunch of different stuff there and I need to update it badly. I do, I do. Let's see. Okay, so here, uh, what I was saying, is here are two different boards that I use that I have built myself. Um, and they both work for different venues. You know, if it's a little bit more fancy schmancy, you know, sometimes I'll put this one out. Because uh, I do go, have a few places that I play that are formal, and then that one's a little bit more chill. Um, one that I have that I really like... Uh, that I built, I, I built this one for the uh, SL17B because, let's see, I can't type. Okay, so I built this one for SL17B because I was performing there and I knew that this was kind of the theme for the place. What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's see. Okay, let's res it out. Sometimes I just think it's see. Okay, <laughs> this is a little bit extravagant, but but I, I thought it was I thought it was fun, uh, and um, and fun is always good. So when I whenever I res that out, you know, I'll, I'll, it's not just a tip board; it's a tip stage. Um, I'm actually thinking about making a new one as well. But once again, you have those essential buttons, so you can really customize it and, and make the. Uh, the stage experience, whatever the heck you want it to be. So that is that. Do, 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 do. And, uh, and so what, 
what else is there? What else is there to talk about? I'm not sure. I mean, I think one of the things that can be very good to think about is different venues have different time zones. As with everything in Second Life, make sure to say, okay, this is when I can perform. And this is when I can't perform because it's in the middle of the night for me. You might have neighbors, you might have kids sleeping or whatever. And that's totally okay. Um, when I first started out in SL, because I'm half, I'm half American and half Swedish and I live in Sweden. So I'm at, you know, SL time plus nine hours. So, you know, what's, what's daytime in, in the U S that's, that's the middle of the, <laughs> that's the middle of the night for me. Uh, and I, you know, sure it was okay to, uh, to stay up crazy, crazy hours and just hang out with my friends. Um, uh, but I'm not going to be singing at those hours and, you know, let's face it, be loud with the family to cam in here it's not going very well for me Ugh, let's just do it let's just do it this way let's be lazy there we go so i'm not going to be singing at all hours of the day obviously um because that's just not that's just not nice <laughs> to the people that i live with um so um so you know checking out different venues and and uh, when they have sets and when they uh you know when, what works there, that's sort of how you're going to have to build your crowd. And, uh, and the cool thing is that there are, you know, depending on what your life looks like and what, you know, times you can sing. Um, sorry, I'm making myself, I'm making myself some coffee here because that is important. Um, because of the different, you know, times that work for you, there's going to be different venues. So, um, I found that I personally, here, make me, make me some coffee. Um, I don't really do the U S ones. Uh, and, and the, the fun thing is that there really is a community going on all time of the, like all 24 hours. There's, you know, the early mornings with Australian crowd, there's, um, afternoons sort of for me is when, you know, the Euro ones. And that's like, I mean, now it's what it's seven 52 and SL time for me, it's, it's almost 5 PM. So, um, you know, there's, there's that, but there's always something going on. So make sure that you sort of find and build a, a, a fan base or a crowd that, that are sort of the similar time zone to you, because it's, it's going to be what works for you in the long run. And it's so tempting to, uh, it's so tempting to just say, yeah, yeah, sure. You know, I'll do that. You know, I know when I first started out, I was singing at 3 PM, which for me is basically, I mean, I'm starting a set at midnight, you know, and, and, uh, in the long run, I was just, I was so exhausted and it just, it wasn't good for me. So you have to sort of take that into consideration. How much do I want to do this? What is going to be okay for me and, and what's still going to be fun so that you don't, you know, kill yourself in the process. Um, so that's that. Another thing is promotional stuff, you know, um, because that's a whole side to it too, networking and, and working promotionally. Um, a lot of people and a lot of SL musicians have a Second Life Facebook page. And there are lots of groups that you can join there where you can uh, send out, you know, I'm playing here, I'm playing there, you know, things like that. If we take a look at, at mine for a second, let's see if I can g get us over there. Um, so I have my... Uh, I have a Second Life music group that is set up. And in this, before I have a show or something like that, I'll usually, uh, let's see, like like tonight, for example, I'm playing at Lakeside. Um, and that's an event that's put into Facebook. And I, have, I think, yeah, I have my blog blog post there as well. But, you know, like I'll, I'll put, put a picture and usually... Um, Usually I'll, I'll put in the slurl as well. So that people know, uh, when a show is coming and those kinds of things. Um, so that's like something that you can do not in world, but that, that connects to SL. Um, there's also, I mean, in SL with your group, I recommend, you know, sending out a notice, like maybe half an hour before your set starts saying, you know, this is where I'm going to be. Here's a landmark and that kind of thing. Uh, so if you guys have anything else that you're wondering, don't, hesitate to hit me up and ask some questions um and all that stuff i will see you guys back here hopefully sooner rather than later and uh, otherwise you can catch me on my blog or you can catch me at a show <laughs> tonight i'll be playing at lakeside at 
12 p.m. SLT. So, uh, so there you go. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. And uh, I will see you guys back here for the next stream. Bye-bye.